modifier is an awesome feature in Jetpack Compose, but using it properly to get expected UI decoration is crucial. Specifically, the order of modifiers is very important. Today in this video, we will discuss about the importance of order of modifiers. So let's get started. Here you can see two profile images and both are clickable. But you can see the difference whenever I am clicking. In the first case, the click is happening in the rectangular area. But in the second one, it is limited to its circular area. Now let's see the code. It is for the first one and it is for the second one. Here notice the placement of clickable. In the first one it is placed before clip and in the second one it is placed after clip. That's why the difference is. Here in this example see the code. See, we have used border, padding, size and background in both case. Also, you can see size and background are in last in same sequence. But border and padding are in different order. In the first one, border is applied first, then the padding. And here, padding is placed first, then the border. And you can see the difference in rendering. From the examples, we have understand that the orders of modifiers is very important. But do you know why it's happening? Modifiers are applied in the order they are listed. Each modifier operates on the result of the previous one. For example, if you first apply a padding modifier and then a background color modifier, the background will be applied outside of the padding. Reversing the order will give a different result. In Jetpack Compose, when you chain multiple modifiers, they are applied from the outermost layer inward. Much like wrapping an item in multiple layers of wrapping paper. Each modifier can be visualized as a layer that wraps around the previous state of the composable. The first modifier in the chain is the outermost layer and the last one is the innermost layer that is closest to the core composable. See, in this example padding is applied twice but they are applied differently. The first padding is applied outside and the second padding is applied inside. So, the first padding acts as a margin and the second padding acts as a normal padding. So you can understand how important the order of modifiers is. They will behave differently as per their position or order. In case of shadow, we can see the noticeable impact of the order of modifiers. Smart usage of modifier ordering can create some beautiful results. Now the question is how to know the order that will work and the answer is we may have to see lots of examples to understand then we can follow some rules craft some logic and at last we may have to do some trial and error. We 
we have already seen some examples now let's see some rules here is a general rule for our most common use cases first of all you may have to apply size and constants like size width height etc then the graphics and drawing like background border shadow etc then clipping and shape then layout modifiers like padding offset etc next interactivity like clickable draggable etc next graphics layer and transformations next scrolling and height level layout like vertical scroll horizontal scroll etc the logic behind the ordering is thinking in layers start with the core content and how it should be sized or constrained add graphics decorations or embellishments adjust its layout position or space around it layer on interactivity and other behaviors apply advanced graphics or transformations that affect the final composite appearance finish with any high level containers or behaviors that wrap everything the bottom line is that compose applies modifiers in the order they are provided by understanding what each modifier does you can determine the right sequence to achieve the desired effect if the result looks or behaves unexpectedly try adjusting the modifier order sometimes the best way to understand how something works is to experiment with it the immediate feedback loop that jetpack compose provides especially with the new interactive previews in and studio makes this process much easier let's see the steps for effective trial and error isolate the problem if you are working on a complex ui break it down start with a simplified version of the component where you suspect the issue lies change modifier order swap the order of two or more modifiers to see how it affects the final result document observations whenever you make a change note down the outcome this helps in creating a mental map of how certain modifiers interact with each other iterative development make one change at a time this ensures you understand the impact of each individual change rather than getting lost in a wave of multiple changes leverage previews use jetpack composes preview feature in android studio this lets you see the outcome of your changes without needing to deploy the app to device or emulator see feedback sometimes a fresh pair of eyes can spot something you missed don't hesitate to ask a colleague or the community for input now let's have an experiment to create something like this you can see the shadow the background the border the clickable clip something like this so let's try i will take a simple box just with the modifier give the size let's say 100 dp i think the background is white here so let's give the background next i want the shadow for example 10 dp the outcome is totally different uh, than what i thought actually uh, let's put the shadow at the top hmm it's working uh, so should i give the shadow at the top most or i can place it somewhere else as well let's move it below size and let's check uh 
uh, it is working but I don't know what the difference is let's uh, duplicate it I think the outcome is uh, exactly same so let's delete the second one and uh, I think here shadow is ok uh, because first of all I want to mention the size then I want the shadow uh, but to have a proper shadow effect I have to mention the background after the shadow because I if I have put the background before the shadow I will get something like this uh, what happens okay some glitch anyway size background shadow let's see the effect you can see the effect it is not uh, quite expected so if I move the shadow just below the size it should work yes fine now I want a border 4 dp with color red uh, let's increase the size to match the outcome you can see the border is in the edge of the container uh, but I want the border to be here something like this so I may have to put some padding yes it is ok uh, but you can see uh, we need the rounded corner right so let's have that here we can mention the shape this way yes it's ok uh, we can decrease it little bit to match the output yes it's ok now have a clickable you can see the clicking effect is being applied in the rectangular area but I want inside this rounded corner so I think I have to insert a clip let give this same rounded corner yes it is working but let's zoom it little bit yes it is working the result is same I think so this way you can experiment you can have experiment how the order will be to have a perfect output uh, see uh, first of all you have to analyze what your requirement is that means the shadow the background the border the clickable and here in this clickable the clickable zone is rounded corner right so I have to mention this clip so this way with experiment you can have an idea what the order what the modifiers you want 